Siko ubaya, ukiragalega, mi natumia mudosi report. PS, ukiragalega, natuma report. County commissioner, nikisikia county yako, diyo hivanyi kazi. Na mimi hiyo kazi sitafanya kwa ofisi, my friend. Hiyo mimi nitakuwa hapa. Hapa kwa mimi, ofisi yangu ni hapa, mashinani. Hii kazi ya mashinani diyo mimi najua zaidi. Mimi ya ofisi hata siendangi. Ofisi yangu ni hapa kwa raia. Na hata nyingi county government, hata kama zina eh, power over you, mukeregalega, nitapatia wana inchi report. Mwabia watu wakalisa, haa, governor wenu, MC wenu, si, si. Na wale abao, si, wamelishinda kupelekea kwa rais. Na wamelishinda kupelekea kwa wana inchi. Si munipatia ruhusa ni wastaki kwa mwenyezi mungu, subahana ala. Eh? Nita wastaki huko. Niseme hawa, diyo wanafanya vijana wetu waendelea kukosa kazi. Hawa, diyo wanafanya wa mama wetu washindwe kuweka pesa kwa mfuko. Na jameni, wajua wa mimi, mila kuwaga na maadui wengi. Na sijari, kwa sababu kwetu tunazema ndovu, haiwezi kushindwa na pembe zake. Hata wakuje nani na nani, mimi kazi nitaendelea kutuanga, nitaendelea kujorosha Kenya, and if you don't like me, anza kuwadikia, I can't bet one thing. Wale wanasherekea, ati mimi nilotodolewa kwa hii wizara. Within six months, wataanza kwenda kwa laizi kumuabia, ay, amezidi sana, mutoe hapa tena. They will be asking for another issue. For six months time, uh, wallahi, I promise you. Because vile itatuanga hii kazi. Na vile nitaluka, luka hii Kenya kila pahali, kwa kicha kwa mba serikali ya William Samoy Ruto, ime succeed kwa hile mipango ambayo iliahidi watu wetu. My friend, mutosheke, na mutuwe ya kwamba, Kama ulikuwa unasubuliwa na mimi ulikuwa na kawizara kamoja. Sebuze saa hii mimi na koordineti wizara zote jina bili. Si utajihalia. Mungu wabaliki na mungu walide. Asanteli sana watu wagaliza na wapenda sana. Santi. Ok, uh, uh, waziri. Uh, kidogo tu. Wame, wame sema kama lazima ukufarishe kama Somali elder. Waziri Okay, sasa waziri, you are now a Somali elder, na hii, ukeenda huko, uke, ulisema kwamba you'll be going around the country. Yes. Sasa zikina, you'll not go, you'll go to a place without any lodge. Yes. Tumia hii udalia tu inje tu hapo inje. <laughs> so, hii ni pilo, traditional pilo. Yes. So, hiyo sasa, na, by the way, <laughs> so waziri, 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 wacha ni kwambie, hii, hii, by the way, hawa bujana, wanaweka mkono huku, ni kama, Our area MP, Mashimu Adeko Barrow, our regional commissioner, county commissioner, my government officials, ministers, and the others who are here, 
and all what I observed. Waziri, um, as you have been told from by everybody here, what you are going to say is that you managed to come. Last night, Waziri, in a reshuffle, in a potoke, we to mengi wa na waswasi kubwa sana. To kasema kwamba labda waziri now, ile yetu ya garisa it will be cancelled. We were worried. People were calling me. Alafu ni kaku pigia simu. Ukana kishia kwamba. Ukana kishia kwamba utakuja. Na le furaha tele leo kwamba bila wewe kujali hali ya reshuffle kwa sababu umesema vizuri kabisa kwamba serikali kazi lazima iendelee huku tiwa waswasi na mambo ya reshuffle na sisi watu wa kazi wa garisa tunafuraha kwamba this is your 15th he is the 15th kai project which you are launching in the country hiyo waziri in a short span of time is a huge achievement for you as a KK minister and I'm sure history will regard you very well for what you have done. Sisi wana waziri we are happy. I am particularly happy kwa sababu in my campaign manifesto I had a whole uh, section talking about um, industrialization or cottage industries for Garissa County. In the Okwamba, when this initiative was announced, I was probably the first governor from the region nimeidaka haraka sana bila kuchelewa. Nimeirukia mara moja nikasema kwamba sisi watu wa Garissa lazima tuchukue hiyo fursa and that's why today this is the first Kaipe project to be launched in Northeastern Province. And that is really for uh, our telequetu. Um, this Kaipe project Waziri, will go a long way in easing the problems of farmers in this county. Sitaki kurudia mengi sana, which you already know, and also a lot has already been said by my colleagues, but tomato processing among the, I want to list down the five uh, themes or the five investment areas for this Kai project in Garissa. One is tomato processing. Waziri, tomatoes happens in a gross sana. As you were told earlier, we do a lot of irrigation farming on the river Tana here, and many times post-harvest uh, losses are, are huge for our farmers. So tomato processing has always been a concern for us that our farmers lose a lot in terms of uh, far, uh, tomatoes which they grow very well. We have some of the best tomatoes waziri which sell in this country. There are also many other fruits that we sell very well in this country but we went to, for tomato processing as one of those specific areas. Thank you. Uh, the other one was here is camel milk powder. Kama ulivuona hapo hapo mbele, camel milk is a huge product in this town and in this region for that matter. Kwa hivyo sisi tume decide instead of our milk the camel milk from our farm camel farmers going uh, getting spoiled tumesema kwamba we now convert it to powder so that we can export it even outside the country. Of course, hides and skins is a very, very important sector also for us, for all the obvious reasons. Waziri, unajua kwamba garisa hapa, sisi ni watu wa mifugo, and therefore that's also another area where I'm sure this project will do very well. Sunflower oil. Waziri, you have been shown, leo kwamba we do grow sunflower in this county. Interestingly, we grow it both as irrigated uh, farming uh, system and also even in dry land, rain fed. Very, very interesting. The, f the, 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 the little bit that you are shown there, you are told it came from the dub, which basically is dry land farming. 
Now, it's not news. If sunflower oil was um, uh, manufactured or rather produced in, uh, let's say, in Yeri or Nakuru, but this is news, Kwamba, sunflower oil will be processed in this project of Anawaziri. And that's really what we are looking forward to. Rice processing is the other one. You have been shown, Waziri, the kind of very, very good grade rice that we grow in Jarajara, our irrigation scheme in Balambala. We have also decided to process that from that Bishori rice, grade number one, also will be processed here. So, without uh, um, saying much, I want to say that this is a, a timely intervention. It was part of my manifesto, that's why I immediately said I want to take it up with the government. And I also must thank you, at the national government, for also coming in quickly to support us in Garissa for this initiative. We, of course, are happy, as was said, and we are looking forward for the uptake of this project by, by the investors. Investors to Nawakaribisha Sana Apa Garissa, so that together we can make this uh, project a reality for the benefit of the people of Garissa. Not only in terms of job creation, but also in terms of um, value addition, so that we, um, we move ahead uh, with our development agenda. Um, obviously, uh, there are a number of par uh, you know, parties that I look forward to working with uh, in this project, and we call upon the contractor in particular. Uh, of course, there will be no excuse because this is a, a, a fully supported uh, a government initiative, both by the national government and the county government. So we want to see this project um, you know, uh, developed and progress very quickly so that the value proposition of the same can be um, achieved 